Today I'm going to demonstrate two options for remotely triggering your Nikon D5600. And the first one is called MC-DC2. And it is a completely manual, as you can see, and wired solution. So when I just push the button here, you can hear that um, It basically just takes the picture as if you were pushing over here. So nothing advanced about this one, but what I really do like is that this one is simple. It works every time. It does not require a battery and will, will set your bag something like, I don't know, 25 euros or so. Of course, you don't have to buy a Nikon one. You can buy so many others, but this one I was just really sure that it would fit um, the camera. So there you have it. <clears throat> the other option I want to show you, I'll just remove this one. The manual says you should be very careful and shut down your camera every time you <clears throat> remove or insert the remote. But let me just show you here. It's an option that I don't really understand why it's not being marketed a bit more. It is the snap bridge that everybody seems to love to hate. Um, but let me just show you here remote photography. I think it's pretty cool. You can see here, if I do a little adjustment here, you can actually see if I shake the head of the car, you can see over there that it actually follows um, with a little delay. But anyway, you get a live view and you can actually just press the button over here, say, please focus on the mad cow and boom, take a picture. And then it gives me a message, something about the download. That works beautifully. And <clears throat> I'm not sure about the distance, but this is Wi-Fi connected. So I think you can actually be pretty far away from your camera when you take the pictures. Um, if you are, there's a little thing here, if you are in bulk mode or want to be in bulk mode, um, and let me just disconnect over here so that I'm not connected. You can see down here, right here I am in aperture mode. If I go to manual, then here I can choose, oops, here I can choose the speed, you see the speed over here changes on the, the shutter speed. If I go to bulb, this is important because you have to choose it here before you then go over here and choose remote photography. Because this one will then come and tell you your camera is configured for bulb photography, live view is off, do you want to record? A time exposure and of course you say yes to that. <clears throat> so once you say yes to that you can see it doesn't give you a preview but it actually does and you can almost hear this when you hit the button once it opens and you hit it again and it closes and then of course if you then go here I want to see the picture you have a picture of the mad cow, which is massively overexposed, as you would expect. Um, so that's a demonstration of how to use uh, the bulk mode, uh, also to, to uh, operate your camera remotely. I think this is actually a pretty smart way of doing it. It is a little bit cumbersome the way, um, typically your iPhone, I, I'm using my I'm using my iPad here because I use my iPhone for, for recording this. But <clears throat> it is a little bit cumbersome. It takes a while for the camera and your smartphone to connect. And it, but once it is connected, I think it works pretty well. And, and uh, I think the fact that you can actually see what it is uh, you're shooting, even though you are maybe in another room, if you're indoor shooting, say, uh, your cat, <clears throat> Then you can uh, take a picture 
and actually see what you're doing. And I'm just showing you here, I took a picture of my cat uh, while I was actually not in the room. And I took one picture to get his attention. He was he could hear the, the click from the camera. So he looked up and, and to see what that was. And then I took the second picture here. And I think you can do the same for, I don't know, if you want to shoot birds in the garden. I think the remote photography here on uh, on the Snapbridge, the application that everybody loves to hate, is actually pretty neat. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, give a thumbs up if you found this useful. Thank you. Take care.